Hello friends. So in this tutorial, we are quickly going to see how to create contacts, follow up intents and uh, complex conversations. In the previous tutorial we have seen how to create simple intents. In this tutorial we will see how to create follow up intents and complex conversations. So here is a quick demo of what we are going to create. So this is our demo chatbot. This is chatbot saying, hi, this is your customer care chatbot. How can I help you? Let's say, um, please book a flight ticket. Chatbot says, I should you want to book a flight ticket? I'll say yes. And chatbot says, okay, booking the ticket. Now, let's say, please cancel the ticket. So it says, are you sure you want to cancel the ticket? I'll say yes. And it says, okay, cancel the ticket. So we will see how to create this type of conversation. And the important thing to note here is context. So if you see, I have see, I have said yes here, and I have said yes here, but in different contexts. So here I have said yes for booking a flight ticket, and chatbot says okay, booking the ticket. Here I have said yes for cancelling the ticket, and chatbot says okay, cancelling the ticket. So how to create this type of conversation? The key to create this conversation is using context because chatbot is aware of the context so we'll see how to create chatbot using context so this is our agent customer care agent let's create an intent book a ticket And here we'll say, please book a flight ticket or just book a ticket. Okay. And when, when user says book a ticket or please book a flight ticket, then we need to respond with a message. So we'll say, are you sure? You want to book a flight ticket now uh, if you see there is a another section here to enter a text response variant it is like a variant so if you don't want to always say uh, are you sure you can enter a variant here so you can also say could you please confirm Shall I book the flight ticket? Something or you can enter multiple variants. So chatbot will pick up one of these and will respond. So we are going to say please book a ticket. Chatbot will say I should want to book a flight ticket. Now we want to say yes and then chatbot should respond accordingly. To do that, there's the option of adding a follow-up intent. If you see, as soon as you move mouse here, you'll see a follow-up intent. Follow-up intent is like what should happen after this intent is triggered. Click on this and click on yes. So since we don't want to do it for book a flight, we will click on add follow-up intent here and click on yes we don't want follow-up intent for ask a question so book a flight ticket book a flight ticket yes so if user says okay yes do it sure anything like this it's already defined when we select follow-up intent then you want to say okay booking a flight ticket 
we can add multiple response variant but for now we are just saying okay booking a flight ticket and similarly let's create one for cancellation so create intent cancel the flight ticket Please cancel the flight ticket. Could you please cancel that? And if user says one of these things, then we want to say, Are you sure you want to cancel the flight ticket? Save it. Go back to intents and again add a follow up because we want to say yes. So cancel the follow up, cancel the flight ticket, and then click on add follow up and select yes. If you see, there are multiple other follow up intents as well. So custom is like if you want to say something custom, please do it, or something like we'll see this in next tutorial. Uh, but there are a couple of more options here like fallback if user is something which is completely unexpected Then you can define what you want to say if user says something random You can say please enter a valid option or something like that Yes, we have already seen that no For example, if user says no instead of yes, what should we respond with? Later cancel and there are a couple of more options which we'll see in next tutorial but for now, we are going to select yes. So cancel the flight ticket, yes. So if user says, okay, yes, please do it, anything like this, it's already defined. Then how do we respond? We'll say, okay, I have canceled the flight ticket or something like that. So now we have our book a flight ticket intent. It has yes follow up intent. We have a cancel the flight ticket intent and we have a follow up intent. So let's see how it works. So you first say hi. This is your customer care chatbot. I'll say please book a flight ticket. Says, are you sure you want to book a flight ticket? And say yes. Okay, booking a flight ticket. Now I'll say, please cancel that ticket. Are you sure you want to cancel the flight ticket? I will say yes. Okay, I have canceled the flight ticket. So, see how easy it is to create this type of conversations using dialogue flow uh, follow-up intents so how is it working how is it connecting so if you see when i create an intent and when i create a follow-up intent it added a context here in the context section it added a output context i'll explain you what is output context in next tutorial but for now, you can just see this is something which is helping in creating this conversation. So it has added a follow-up context here. And if you go to follow-up intent here, you will see the same context is here in the input context area. Book a flight ticket, follow-up. So, for now, just keep in mind that this is something which is helping in creating this context specific uh, chat. Uh, in next tutorial, we will see how these contexts are used and how is it helping in creating this type of conversation. Thank you.